Right here, and this. Oh, okay, I almost forgot to put on. Um, is my crafter's companion craft supplies haul number 30, I believe. And it's quite a few things. I don't know why this is in a bag when the other pens aren't in the bag, but. I'll just recycle that. And I missed. Anyway, here is Fairy Blues Tricolor Aqua pen. It's got three colors to make, you know, this gradient. Which is a soft sun, warm blush, and magical green. This good. Interested. Yes. I thought it'd be a nice addition to my tricolor aqua collection, so I got that, as well as the tropical paradise one as well. And this has trop tropical pool, pink orchid, and papaya to make this gradient here. Oh, that was pretty nice. As you can probably tell, it's three pens in one. Same as the other one. Now, this. Here is another Tricolor Aqua. This is the Kingfisher Edition Collection. One. Three pens, so nine colors. I'm getting this uh, full set syndrome where I have to get all of them. Luckily, there aren't very many tricolor aquas. I don't think. But here's the code for that one. And Kingfisher pen has evergreen, Kingfisher, and navy. Sunrise pen has gold, sunflower, bud green, and sunset has magenta, crimson, and orange. Oh, I might as well. Oh, I got the uh, packing. Okay. So, the Tropical is $2.99. The Fairy Blue is $2.99. The Kingfisher collection is $9.99. I did not get them on sale. Um, still dealing with pens. I thought this would be a good thing. Personally, I said to myself I won't buy any alcohol markers before I finish my set that I have that I got from a different place, but this is a tri-blend and I couldn't resist also because it is 3-in-1 blendable markers, tri-blend by Spectrum Noir, and this is the portrait blends, so the skin tones, and I've uh, Choosing a skin tone color has always been a bit annoying for me. And also this would help with the shading as well. And I think in my alcohol marker set that I have, there's only really maybe two good... Maybe, you know, something along those lines and maybe that. I didn't actually really look at the browns, but I don't think they had... I um, got that one maybe. Not really the light one. I can't remember. But yes. Because all of those colors. Blending instructions included. I'll have to look. This seems interesting. Okay, those ones. Were they on sale? Maybe. They might have been on sale. It's $15.99. I think they were on sale. This was not. 
It is the Crafters Companion Glue Tape Pen Refill. This is the straight one. Because I've been using the straight one as some kind of probably the refill for this. And I think I've got what I had one left. There was one or two left. I think it was just one. So I wanted to get a refill for that. I still have not used most, if all, of the other because it came in a, you know, that big set of 10, 12, or whatever. So, I still have loads of the dotty tape pen left. Not really much of the straight one. So I wanted to get a re at least one refill just in case. And that one was $4.99. Now, one, one of the uh, main reasons why I bought during this occasion or because of the following items. <laughs> and it's probably... Uh, well, this was during the master class, I believe. For the Color Your World bits and pieces. So these were Color Your World ones were uh, technically the main reason why I wanted to buy something. And these just fell into my basket. <laughs> mm. Okay, so first up... We have this lovely 2D embossing folder, a 5x7 inch, Rainbow Hearts. And this one was for $1.99 on sale, I think. Oh, that was, that's cool. It's a nice cover or background kind of one. There's the cologne uh, you want to know. So that's that. Uh, put this on paper. I should put that there so I can put that up there. Okay, so uh, next up is I got another six by six paper pad. If you want to see what the inside looks, well, you know all these, but you can look at the previous. Um. I think it's haul number 19. I mean, not 19. What am I talking about? 29. And last but not least, but the main, main reason why I got this was the Color Your World, World Craft Kit, which is just really new. I'm not sure if it was um, on this site before or not, or what they, they said. This one was on sale for £6.49. And it's got 16 pieces in it. It's got three, four stamps, I think that is. Two stencils, an embossing folder, and dies. And you can make that out. I thought the, uh, the stencils were very good because it's got cloud, which I've been meaning to get. And it's got, and then it correlates. Not the right word, correlates. Corresponds. What's another word? Correspond. Hmm. I think it's corresponding. Yeah? It goes with the embossing folder. Oh yes. Okay, first off, here's the code. And then here is the stuff inside. You get eight metal dies, one embossing folder, two stencils, five polymer stamps. Five! Oh, so you are in light is Two separate stones. Okay. Um, the largest stencil size is six inches by four point five inches. Folder size is six by four inches. Largest stamp size is three point uh, two point three by four point six inches, which is would be this uh, lady with an umbrella. And the largest die size is two point eight inches by one point five inches, which I guess would be the umbrella top. Though I did ask. If this umbrella, you know, thing was the same size as the umbrella for the Follow the Rainbow or whatever die set, because it had a rainbow in it, but they didn't know, so I'll have to see. And I guess it wouldn't be too bad if it was the same, because then I can make multiple umbrellas at the same time. But still, I try not to get dies that are the same, because I don't have 
I'm going to buy the rolls. So yes, very nice. That's everything. Um, yes. Oh, I made a recent decision so far because I didn't get the uh, toolbox yet. You know, the Tony Tiffany toolbox thing. So I decided I will use an empty tin that I procured. It's a very, very beautiful Christmassy After Eights tin. And I can fit my aqua tricolor aquas in there. I got a couple I set of three over there because I can't reach them at the second. But yes, these are the uh Age of Elegance ones. So that means the Enchanted Ocean ones are over there. But yes. When I start collecting I just can't not collect the rest. Especially when there's not very many, right? So I'm gonna stick these in here, and I hopefully they'll fit all of them. Because like it is a pretty deep tin, so I'm just hoping it'll fit all of them. If not, I'll have to get toolbox. Currently, at least the time of this recording, toolbox and any storage items are on sale, but I can't buy anything right now, unfortunately. Which I guess is technically a good thing. Sort of. Well, it's going to be another story sale so another time. Um, but yes, I'm rambling, and yes, that's it. That's everything. I'm going to see if I can make this. Well, not that that specifically, but the background. Because I like my embossing folders, and I can color the embossing folder in with this. I think I only have one other embossing folder that came with stencils, and that was a Halloween haunted house one. Embossing folder with a stamp. What's doing this? Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything else to say. There's nothing to show you. So that's it. So, uh, thank you for watching. Over. Oh,